Hello guys and welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be trying out the demo of Worlds of Final Fantasy. It's more than trying out, we're going to be playing through it as I have already completed it once. But I did really enjoy it and there's still a few more things I want to do. Like I want to capture every single enemy available in the demo which seems quite interesting. Which I didn't do in my previous playthrough. So what we're going to do first thing is come down to configuration. And we want to make sure that the battle speed is on at least 4. If not it does get a bit long winded sometimes in some of the more boring and basic battles. I've changed the battle menu from basic to classic and what this does is pretty much gives you the Final Fantasy menus we've always had in previous titles. The basic one, I don't exactly dislike it, it's more that I find myself wasting so many turns defending as standardly X is going to be to defend with the basic menu. So I really don't enjoy that too much, but anyway, um, we're going to leave that on classic. The voice acting I would like to try it out in Japanese, I've yet to try it, but we are going to leave it on English for the sake of this video. Cutscene voices, we're going to leave them on, so anyway. I think we're pretty much ready to go. Okay, move character with the left analog stick. L1 and square is to switch land from giant to lilikin, and L1 and circles to switch rain from giant to lilikin. Simple enough. Up and down is to get off and off the chocobo. Left and right is to switch the mirage companion. The graphic style in this game is pretty nice, I do quite like it. So let's quickly go over the controls, L1 and square, L1 and circle, up on the D-pad, down on the D-pad, and we can't switch through the Mirage Companion yet, simply because this is the only Mirage we have that has the ability unlocked to be a companion out here on the world map, I believe. Um, first chest, we found ourselves an antidote. Don't worry about us. I'll take care of things here. <laughs> the voices are actually like really nice, I suppose. However, they just don't fit in too well when the chibi characters, like they have really serious voices and they're little chibi characters, which is kind of funny, I guess. Now we have lightning, Final Fantasy 13. Something I can help you with? That's up. Yeah, so these basically just give us, I'm not sure if this is actually gonna be part of the full game. I don't think that this demo is actually taken out of any area of the game. I believe it's just sort of an extra area added in. The amount of AP you need depends on the what you're trying to do, so make the sure you use them wisely. You can take action when the icon reaches the top, so basic, yeah. So when your little icon on the left hand side there reaches the top, that means it's your turn, and let's just go for some basic attacks. Well that was a good start, wasn't it? So as you also notice, my characters seem to be stacked one on top of each other. This seems to be one of the core mechanics of the battle system in this game, which is kind of interesting and new. Unfortunately, the, the demo isn't really... Oh, she keeps missing. Anyway, like I said, unfortunately the demo isn't that difficult to a level where you actually have to experiment with unstacking when it's more useful and when it's not. As I figured, it's really, so far it's normally better just to have them stacked up. As you do have more health, you're stronger and you have more abilities. So here, for example, we have Aero. I've got this. There, a prism tunity. Use the imprism command to claim that mirage for your own. Go on, the select the imprism command. You might have to try different things before certain mirages will let down their guard and give you a chance to imprison them. Think the outside of the box. So this is where the Pokemon sort of concept comes into play. Um, we can here use Imprism when they have this weird glow around them, meaning that they're able to be imprisoned. It doesn't mean it's going to work 100% of the time. So yeah, we successfully captured him. But this one was, um, this one is sort of like the tutorial one, which all you have to do is weaken him so he becomes capturable. However, sometimes you have to hit him with fire attacks, other enemies you have to heal, like the Mogus, and sometimes you have to hit him with wind attacks to make him capturable. This is sort of experimenting and stuff, which is really why I wanted to play through this again, just to be able to capture every single one of them. So now we could use this guy in battle with us, um, stacking on top of our heads pretty much is what I'm trying to say. Um, we're quickly going to check out the stack menu so you guys can see what I mean. Then we're going to stack set up. The first thing you notice, when we're in Lilikin form, you notice there's a third slot below our main character, which is going to be for the bigger sized mirages we capture. And then on the other hand, when we're using our characters in giant form, the extra slot is going to be in the middle, which is going to be for intermediate mirages, as in Seraphy would be classified as a small one. And then we can capture medium ones we could use in the middle. 
So that's pretty much it. We can change the stacks, what we want with each character. We don't really have too many at the moment. But for example, with Rain, what we're going to do when she's in giant form, we can have the Goblin, for example, in the middle or the Chocobo. We're actually going to go with the Chocobo in the middle here. <laughs> and then on the other hand, when we're using Lan in the middle, we're going to go ahead and switch up the Goblin. So these are now our stacks. However, if we're in... Lilikin form when we end a battle, we would use these stacks, and if we're in giant form when we end a battle, we would use these stacks. So that's pretty much the basics behind the stack system on here. Yeah, we got this. I guess we're doing this. Okay, so we have found three new enemies we can capture here. Luckily, none of them are stacked up. If you notice, some of the enemies stack enemies on top of each other. Um, that means you can't capture them until you unstack them, which is making them lose balance. So we have two bats and the big eyeball. Um, what are we going to do? Foxfire, trying to wait No, we're just going to basic attack um, this guy. And if I'm remembering correctly, to capture the bats, we need to use wind attacks on them to make them imprisonable. So here we have arrow, which we are going to do on the werebat. So now, as you can see, we can actually imprison the Werebat. Let's see if we get lucky on the first try. So it's not exactly like Pokemon, you don't just have to weaken them each time, and if they're weak, you've got a chance of capturing them. Here, as you can see, each enemy has its own specific thing that you need to do to capture them. Um, you've got Libra, is probably your best ability to find out what each one does. But to be honest, once the game's released, there'll probably be loads of lists over the internet telling us what we need to do to really do each one. So now hopefully, if we get lucky, we can imprison him on the first try. There we go. Now we're just missing the bat, which we already have a wear bat, so we're just going to try and take this guy out as quick as possible. Oh, got a nice critical hit in there, that, that speeded up the process a little bit. Acroman actually counts as one of the bigger mirages, so now I can luckily show you the stack options. For example, when we're in chibi form, Lilikin form, sorry, we can go down here and use Acroman, and we can actually stack our characters on top of a mirage, which is kind of interesting, it's pretty nice. So now when we go into battle, that should be our stack with Rain. Let's quickly go over here. Another day of just going wherever the wind wants to take us. Oh, you know, thank you. <laughs> anyway, um, let's continue over here. We're actually going to get on our chocobo and go a little bit faster. Okay, so to capture Mogus, what we have to do, we actually have to heal them. Um, we don't have cure yet, so what we're going to do is we're going to use a potion on Mogul. Let's quickly use us on the first muggle over here, and it should give us a chance to imprison him. There we go. Um, let's quickly check out if we can get him first try. There we go, we got the muggle. We haven't actually missed a single capture yet, which is surprising to say the least. Last time I was playing through this, the captures failed quite a bit, unfortunately. It felt like trying to capture a Mewtwo with a Pokeball. So anyway, let's quickly finish off the enemies we have left here. Everybody's favorite fuss ball with the funny way of talking, Kupo. Attacks and heals using equally funny dancers. Apparently, they're willing to take just about any job if it means they get a role in the story. Um, we're actually going to change Tama around for Mogu. Um, I know it's like four levels lower, but still, I do enjoy the Mogu. Something else I do want to quickly show you is the Mirage boards. Um, for example, let's go into who are we using. We just got rid of Tama, actually Chocobo for example, he's level 5. Um, they all had SP points, as you can see, with a Chocobo we have 8 SP at the top left there, and this is sort of like, as you know, it's from Final Fantasy 13, sort of style that you can level up in different directions depending on what you want to level up. For example, he has already unlocked Joyride, which is so we can actually use him as transportation in the world map. Then we could, uh, if we went upwards, we could learn Chocobo Kick for 2 SP. 
Then if we went downwards, um, you can use seeds on this space to learn custom abilities. Anyway, I think what we're going to do, we're going to learn to get strength up with Chocobo, uh, as well as learn the extra attack. Chocobo kick. Um, who else do we have equipped it? I'm, what I don't remember, I'm not sure if, yeah. Then Mogul, for example, we've just captured on the level 1, he starts with 3 SP. We have to really start out in this direction, Flynn, fly rain and land a short distance, flutter. Okay, stroll is what I was talking about, if we press left or right in the world map, we can actually switch between the characters that sort of follow us around. So we're going to unlock that, just to quickly show you. And we have 1 SP left, which unfortunately can't really get us too far. We can add Libra, um, which I guess is okay. So that's enough for him, and let's see what other characters we have. Who else are we using? Uh, Ariman. See what abilities we can check with him. I don't think I've ever actually bothered level up Ariman, so I'm not sure what his abilities are going to be like. Magic plus. Um, and that used up really all the SP he had, the poor guy. So anyway, that's good enough for now. So hopefully if we get off here now, and we press... Yeah, as you can see, if we press right and left on the D-pad, we can switch between the mirages that follow us around. So now we can actually have Mogu following us around on the world map. See what we've got over here. We've got Yuna standing over here from Final Fantasy X. The weather is lovely today. Well, that's some impressive small talk there, Yuna. And who else do we have behind here? Edgar. Sorry, I'm a little tied up right now. Yeah, so that's the other reason I believe this is not actually part of the full game, simply because none of the characters really have any dialogue, they're there to sort of to show off what characters are in the game, yeah. and just to give you random items. Okay, finally! This. I want to capture myself one of these. These obviously also count as the bigger type mirages, so we can put our Lilikin form on top of one of them. So, let's see. To capture these, I think what we need to do is use fire attacks. I'm not 100% sure, to be honest. Um, I hope it is. There we go, yeah. It was fire attacks, luckily. So, let's see if we can imprison ourselves one of these. We haven't missed a single imprisonment yet, so are we going to keep on getting this lucky? No. Okay, that was the first time we missed. There we go. You do definitely get the sort of classic Final Fantasy feeling from the battle system. There are obviously a few things that have changed up, like we don't have, you know, the stacks and that. It, it adds, it implements some new mechanics, which I would say is definitely a good thing, just to make things a little bit more interesting, I guess. And I wouldn't mind having another game with the exact same mechanics, sort of, as back then, but it is good, I guess, to, to change it up a bit, you know. I'm not really too sure, like I said, about how efficient unstacking is. Like, on the demo, we don't really get a chance to try out which opportunities it's better to unstack. Because so far, it just seems like it's so much more efficient to keep them stacked up most of the time. And yeah, luckily, I was just about to say, I hope it's fire attacks to capture these guys as well. Usually, it does seem like whatever element they seem to be, you use that attack against them. Or that sort of affinity, and it usually allows you to capture and imprison them. Um, okay, so we have captured quite a few of the, the Mirages so far, actually. We're missing a few. Uh, we're definitely missing at least the Tomberries, which luckily on this game aren't half as scary as they were in some of the previous titles. And what else are we missing? Yeah, we're missing the Wolf, like the Okami-looking Wolf. I'm not exactly sure, I can't remember what their names were. And obviously the final boss of the game, which is also capturable. As soon as Seed. Okay, let's hop back on our Chocobo and fly through this a little bit quicker. I guess we're doing this. Ah, oh, more Mogus. Okay, not really interesting because, you know, there. We've already got one of these, so it's not really a necessity for me. So let's quickly just go through this. At least it does give you that option, though, to be able to switch up the speed if you do like. I don't think we can do it now we're here in the actual game. The same way as I realized that the first playthrough, I couldn't switch to classical battle controls in like while I was playing. Like if you go into the start menu or even the triangle menu, like there's no option menu. You have to actually exit back out to the main menu to get to the configurations to be able to change it from like classical battle settings and stuff like that. Which I found kind of annoying because the first time, like I said, I was playing through, I actually had to play either on the standard controls 
or press L1 at the start of every single battle. You which, you know, okay? it is what it is. It wasn't fun exactly to do that every single time, but, you know, it wasn't, you know, it wasn't killing me to press L1 at the start of every battle, but, you know, it would definitely okay, be nice to have an option in game to be able to quickly change it around. I suppose that's one of those things that definitely will be in the final game. So we have one of these already, so let's quickly just get rid of them. Um, we are actually getting quite close to the end of this demo, but we are going to be trying to capture every single Mirage available. So we've still got a fair way to go. It depends on how Let's quickly the enemy pop up. Okay, it's actually, I was forgetting about these little guys on the left. So we have the Tomberries, these guys, and the Okami Wolves. And obviously the boss, which the boss is probably going to be a bit of a pain, but... Um, let's see. First, we don't actually have to unstack them. The Tomberries are one of the enemies that I didn't actually capture, so... We're going to have to find out what element we have to use to capture these. They seem to be fire. That was I was quite lucky there. Okay. I guess it couldn't really be too many different possibilities, seeming as on the demo, we only really have fire attacks, wind attacks, and I think we could get a water attack, if I'm not mistaken. I can't remember 100%. But we don't have that too many elements, and obviously the heals for the Mogu, so we didn't have to worry too much about finding out which one to use. For those of you who've played any other Final Fantasy game, you know Tomb Raiders are normally scary as shit. Luckily on this, they, they seem they're quite powerful compared to everything else on the demo. But they're still, you know, they're not they're not a major threat. He took 100 and something health away, which wasn't too devastating. If you have your characters unstacked, you obviously have a lot less health, which can be quite um if you do have your characters unstacked, 120 damage can be quite devastating. You can probably even kill some of the smaller mirages. But luckily for us, that's not the case right now. And now I've still got to figure out, actually, what we have to use to capture these little guys. Um, I don't know, but we, we've got him ready to imprison now. Maybe it's when they get left by themselves. I'm not too sure. We didn't actually attack this guy with anything, so my best guess would be that these guys are imprisonable once they get left by themselves in battle, which is kind of interesting, actually. It definitely makes you think, like, what possibilities there could be in the final game instead of just hitting them with every type of element of attack, what other sort of... What other possibilities there could be? What other factors come into play when having to capture these Mirages? Which are kind of interesting to see what they can come up with. I'm going to put Tomberry here just to see if I get the knife attack, which would be kind of cool. I've not actually ever tried out Tomberry, to be honest. But I'm really hoping he gets the knife attack. Thunder Seed. I'm actually going to check, maybe with the Mirage board. If we level him up. What have we got here? Knife, yeah. Thank God I looked at that. Okay, yeah, so I'm glad I actually checked that out. Um, we actually learned the knife attack, which is going to be quite cool. Hopefully it's powerful. The Cloud Strife from Final Fantasy VII. Not interested. But you know, now we're here, let's actually... Um, Mogul's are actually pretty weak. We can normally take them out with a basic attack anyway. But I do want to try out the knife attack anyway. Let's just see what we can do. And it missed. Okay, well played there, Tomberry. That was nice. That was the last chance you were going to get. We actually have Vivi over here. Oh, hello. I'm not sure why I wasn't expecting Vivi to talk. Especially have that voice, you know? I don't know. I don't know why. Because obviously in Final Fantasy IX there was no voice acting. I'm not sure why I expected him to be more... I know he wasn't mute because he did actually talk quite a bit in the game. But I don't know why I wasn't Let's expecting go. that come voice on, to come out of Vivi. Okay, this is the Okami Wolf I was talking about. Unfortunately, we do need to unstack him first because he's got a Mandragora on top of him. So let's see if we've got any abilities that can um, topple strength medium, yeah. See if we can topple him. Hopefully, we don't kill him. The last time this guy missed, so I'm not too worried about that. Don't, we don't want a critical. We don't want to kill this guy. We just want to, like, knock him over. Misdirection. This should be good. Um, the topple strength is sort of how good it is at knocking the enemies off balance. To make them unstack. And there we go. As you can see, that unstacked them. And now we've got a chance to... Okay, so now they're unstacked, we do actually have the chance to get them into imprisoned. We just use a wind attack on the Okami Wolf. Luckily, we didn't quite kill him. That was quite close, actually. I was I was a bit worried there. Luckily, he's on, like, a really low HP. If this was Pokemon, that would be pretty much perfect. However, I don't think it affects it on here if they're low HP or not. I'm not too sure. I'm pretty sure it doesn't affect them. And then we have the Okami Wolf. So, um, if I'm not mistaken... I think that is all the enemies except the the final boss. Yeah, I'm taking this one with me. Um, who are we replacing? Webat, you are going to stay with Aunt Seraphie, unfortunately. Um, one thing I had not thought of yet. 
I wonder if Okami, you can actually ride. I've got a feeling you probably can. I've not actually checked it yet. First strike, ice stance, joyride. There we go. How much do we need? We need four for this. We need five SP. Okay, we're we're gonna level them up. We are, we need to level this guy up. Okay, so we can. We need five SP. We have three at the moment. So what we're gonna do? We need to level this guy up a little bit. Let's put him on stack first, though. Um, who are we gonna replace? Actually, we could just put Lan into Lilikin form as well. We can put Okami below him, and that is a pretty sick stack right there. That's what I'm liking to see. Okay, these looks like some quite high-level stacks right here going on. You know, I actually my, my squad's looking pretty powerful right now. You know, these these stacks are looking are looking good. So yeah, this is probably how I'd get through most of the game using my main characters in Lilikin form, and then using the bigger Mirages. They definitely seem to be the coolest ones. Um, okay, so this is the save point. We are right next to the end of the game. Um, I do believe we've unlocked every Mirage, as in we have captured one of each. Except the main boss. Have we do one on like that joyride for Okami before we end the game? So we want to get into one more battle, maybe a few more battles, depending on how much we need to level up Okami one more time. Okay, so we should now have that final SP we needed with Okami. There we go, we actually only got one SP, which is right. Don't like joyride. Now, um the question is. The question is how do we choose who we want to use for the joyride? Um if we press right, that doesn't change it. Maybe no, right. Okay, so yeah, once we're on the chocobo, we just press up one more time and we can actually ride any other joyride we have. Oh, this is pretty sick. We're actually using Fenrir as transportation. <clears throat> okay, we're actually going to try this one more time. I accidentally killed them off while trying to capture them. Which is kind of, you know, not good, obviously. Come on, bring let's... Okay, at least I've come in this time knowing exactly what I've got to do. To get the main boss into imprisonment, I just have to leave her really weak. Showed you yet, which is actually quite cool, is the summonings. Let's quickly show you Titus. Here, I've got this. Okay, we actually managed to capture him first try. That was a big surprise. Last time it missed like three times, then he restacked, etc., etc. But we actually managed to capture the final, final boss. Um, will we be able to use him in battle though? Like, because technically the demo's over now, obviously. An exceptionally rare female Frit who's gunning for a spot in the regular Final Fantasy lineup. She's tough enough to do it too. No wonder Frit doesn't like her. Sorry, Behemoth, but your time may. Ifrita, yes, nice. That is, oh, that is nice. Okay, that is pretty sick. We actually got to use Ifrita. We're definitely going to have a quick battle just to check this out. Let's check it out. I wonder if he starts with any abilities, like any fire ones. Um, throw. Is that one of hers? Yeah. Well, that was slightly aggressive and unfriendly, but still a nice attack, I suppose. Good job. So anyway, guys, I think that is where we're going to end this video. I feel pretty accomplished. We've done pretty much everything you can. We've even captured the main boss of the demo. So I'll most probably be buying this game at the end of the month when it comes out. However, I'm not too sure if I will actually record it, seeing as it comes out so close to the Dark Souls 3 DLC, which is going to be my main focus once it releases. Anyway, guys, if you did enjoy this video and you would like to see me play the full game once it does release, please do leave a comment below. Thanks for sticking around, and we'll see you next time.